hi, I'd like to welcome you to this second video where we'll be talking about EP number two, which is entitled Pour, Pour le Mordant. Um, so, and I have to say, I had a lot of difficulty preparing this because of how Tafanel mm, titled this. So, uh, what is a mordant? Now, I, I like to call it a shake, but it, here in Germany, it's called um, a Praltrille, or for short, Pralle. Yeah. So, um, what he what Tafana calls or called a mordant is what the rest of the world calls an inverted mordant. So um, it's very difficult to know uh, what this is. For example, chomlets. Uh, wait, no, let's, let's start with um, um, uh, this is from uh, Theodore Baker which is a, a, a really great little book. I have the newer one, but that here, look, that's how he describes the mordant. Now, a mordant for him is a quick uh, note to the, um, what he calls the minor second below the main note, and it's on the beat, and takes about half the time of the entire allotted time, or less than half the time. Uh, so there's one of them. This is the other one. You see? Uh, so it goes down and back. But this is not at all what Tafanel is talking about. So, and then there's Tromlitz, who writes the following or uh, suggests the following when dealing with a uh, uh, mordant, uh, or at least in, he note, 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 notes it this way with, I don't know if you could see this, I'll try to get it a little closer. You see there's a line going through the symbol and that's what he says is a mordant and it goes down. So he doesn't agree with um, uh, Baker at all. It's just like the opposite, but the description is the same, except that he says it's diatonic and not chromatic. It's not always a minor second, only when it's in the key. So that's tromlets. So uh, what are we supposed to do? Well, fortunately... Um, let's see, what is that? Placed on page 65. 65. So, Tafanel wrote this in his complete method. Du Mordon. And then he writes this. So, you can read this if your French is any good. So... And um, he's talking that, that the mordant is, an, is a, like an ornament, which Quantz referred to as pince. And that's why I call it a shake. It's not really a pinched or it's not, uh, a pressing together of things. But um, pince is like, what, uh, like eyeglasses. Anyway... He writes here that it's uh, it's an alteration from the principal note, uh, very uh, a rapid alteration, yeah. So to the next note in alphabetical order. So that's like diatonic. Um, above it, above it, above it. Did I say above it? It's above it. Above the principal note. 
So, and it doesn't last that long. It lasts about the um, the entire value of the principal note. That means the two notes that repeat are take about half the time. You can double it as well. It could also have uh, what he calls a termination. Um, what we call in German a Nachschlag. Okay, so that's what he says or more. And because he wrote the uh, exercise, this is the interpretation that we're, I, I think we should use. So this means, so here's his example. Let me see if I could get this example here. So we have a C with a mordant, you see, and that's CDC, and then the, uh, the Nachschlag, HC. Bayam, bum, bum, bayam. Okay, that's how he describes this. So I'll, I'll just go through this quickly. F, E, A, I'm losing the, uh, and then G, and then G, C. So that's what he writes. And then he says, uh, um, opposed to this um, uh, façon, uh, in this manner, there's a, a very old and ancient way of doing it, and he cites composers like Rameau, Couperin, D'Angebert. I don't know who that is. D'Angebert. Anyway, they, um, they use the note below, and this is how he would uh, write that. But that this is no longer in um mm -hmm. in use so using the note below it to execute the uh today he says this is uh outmoded and abandoned <laughs> absolute obsolete okay so that's that so it's important to know what we're going to do here now the number two is, as you see, it's not only pour le mordant, but it's also written moderato ben ritmato. So I think that would mean um, ritmico, so good rhythmic. So, so with everything you know about a 4-4 time, uh, the hierarchy of a 4-4 four -four measure and the measures within 4-4 four -four measures, so that there's eight measures and so on and so forth, um, we play this. This is why I pick a quick shake. <laughs> no, we're not in McDonald's, and I'm not talking about some kind of milk shake, but a quick shake. This means um, uh, 64th notes and uh, slurred to a dotted 16th note. Yeah? And we'll go through each and every one of the shakes uh, for the fingering and... Um, and the uh, the duration of each shake. Okay? So that's the next video. Okay. See you soon.